Well, from Rebel Extreme here, here we are on a brand new map, uh, it's called Sprakova, this is by Roger Gplay and Jankers, and brace yourselves, it is 971.37 megabytes to download, and there are 9 required mods, and yeah, all of those are also by Rajot G Play. So, first of all, I'm not sure why these mods aren't included into the map. So, I or you don't have to download said maps. But, honestly, I don't know about that. But, anyway, so with all the required mods, this map becomes 1.37. Sorry, 1.307 megabytes to download. So, it is a pretty intense map, very detailed. But I think get over the whole required mods and that, get over the file size and that. Obviously being 15% of your file size on console and that. This is an awesome map. This is very immersive that. It's not as good as I'll probably say Deadwood that came out the other day and that. But this is very close. Again, two different style of maps, but anyways, without further ado, let's get into the description. The map was reproduced for real terrain in Central Europe with several modifications to diversity of the gameplay. And this is based on... But anyway, so the map has new text crop texture. So we've got barley, rapeseed, corn, oats, oilseed radish, wheat, and grasses. Got new textures on those. Also, we've got deco bushes, deco foot foliage, and ground foliage. On top of that, we've got five new crop types. Clover and alfalfa, which you're familiar to, maybe. Tritical rye and green rye. Green rye, I haven't really seen that too much. On top of that, new textures for fields from your lime and fertilization. You get a needed stubble that has been added when crops are destroyed with crop destruction on. Adding more paint, painted trees, trees, fields, and construction modes. Add seasonal decorations such as leaves in the fall, snowmen in the winter, wet roasted rain, and flooded meadows. And during Christmas, Christmas lights on houses and artificial farmers in the field so that i'll be looking forward to see if we see on the map tour on top of that new sounds on the map hunter collectibles got a couple of productions of the grain mill dairy plant carpentry sawmill spinnery and tears close there are three farms a place for air to build your farm road terrain three large sell points so sorry purchase points for your dlc platinum and premium expansion stuff so it's recommended but of course it's not required if you didn't have it, that is fine. There are five cow pastures that can be purchased within a land. There's BGA, Lime Station, and dealership, many forest, license plates for the map region. 109.1 hectare to 9.45. 254 farms, fields of purchase, and the map has had a new map under precision farming. Also, there is a note out for crossplay, which this is a crossplay map. It doesn't have the multi terrain since it's that a PC only scripted mod thing, so. But yeah, without further ado, so. We're on new farm mode. We just got off the bus here, and. Yeah, this is an awesome map. So we're right by the dairy plant. And your root crop cell points and that, so. We're gonna go over those later on. What I want to do is. Head to our main farm. So our main farm is up here. So yeah, we're just over here, Nat. And yeah, on new farm modes, you do start off with a little small section of field. So got your farm, got a building across, and you got your manure heap and two fields. So before we go any further, let's talk about slot count. So on all three modes. Slot count is 2,157, so pretty high. Because, yeah, on PlayStation 4, at least, slot count is 2,600. So, you are limited, and even without the equipment and that, because you get all the equipment on all three modes, slot count goes down to 2,067. However, you can get the slot counts down even further by just like, deleting some of these buildings that are from the build packs and that. The same map maker and modern and that. But I don't know if this is true. I think it's because as soon as a map file map file gets to one gigabyte or a thousand megabytes to download, that is the upper limit. I don't know. This is just what I've heard from the Great Volume. I will be in contact giants to 
pick from this because I am interested. But anyway, so on new farm mode and all three modes, you start off with the following equipment. So also do you have a fairly decent selection of the use of your ship today. But anyways, for your owned equipment that you got the Fent Favorite Fight Ball C, two Zaters, a Proxima HS80, and a major CL80. For your hard search, you got the Rush Mass Nova 330 with a 5 meter header. That comes with its own header trader. Cars, you got the Mahindra Retriever. Trades got the Class Carrot 140 TD. Plows, a Ponder Servo 25. This carries a Maritano MG 300. Also, you got a Nordstein HK 25 and NS 3030 drill. A Farm Tech Surrey Spreader. A Mini Bayer Nat, the Massey Ferguson MF 1840. A Hula Front Loader, Buckets, and that is it. So, before we proceed any further, I'm going to purchase, purchase a couple of things. But also get some money put in, so be right back in a sec. In the PDA, go on and purchase every film that took a while, and Field prices on their own are pretty expensive, like the biggest field, field 151, 740 grand, and thanks with precision farming we know that is 75 grand per hectare, and even like some smaller fields you get down to 13 grand. Of course it depends on the fields themselves because like some over here in that will have like a farm on it, so, because there's a couple of farms on the map. And also, I did a little quick look at precision farming. And for, yeah, that's all loam that is over there. And yeah, for the most part, you want sandy loam and loam. I'll say, yeah, for the most part, it's good. Perhaps avoid this bottom corner a bit if you're really keen on precision farming. But yeah, so these fields over here, these are really good. Now, these fields up here, which is all loam, that's what you prefer to have more loan than anything else to get that high yieldage so yeah we got a few options open now so since we opened the map so obviously you got your shop area down here before you dairy got another farm over here which we'll look at got one cow pasture over there got at the bend that is the sell point got your tea store your spinnery and this is your farmhouse that you start on Actually, no, sorry, it's one of your houses that you can have. It's got confused up there. So yeah, as we head up, got construction, and then we head up more. Got another cow pasture, and these will hold in between like 40 and 50 cows or so. And yeah, got another got green mill now over here. New trader. Now as we head down, got your wood chip cell point, your sawmill, sawmill, and your stone buy point so I think yeah let's look at the main farm first of all so we got access to this area here and shed that then come across the roads we head up here through the sheds here you have your Surrey output and that for your cows and that also got your manure pit over here got a bunker side to your right and just ignore the soil samples and that. And uh, yeah, you got this little error here. Then yeah, got 15, that's ready to harvest. And yeah, you got... What's that, stubble? Actually, perhaps it'll tell us now with the... So you know, that's been harvested, so fair enough. And that's how it looked like. It was like a bit of a stubble and that, so... Let's go and grab the Mahindra sec. Oh yeah, just to show you, you've got your animal pens and that, 60 cows. Yeah, they range between like 50, 60, and 80. Yep, decent sheds and that. I'm pretty sure this is part of one of the packs, of one of many packs. Ah, it's like the one thing as well with this map, it is so immersive, like, lots and lots of little details here and there. Just to bring it all together now, they got bells and that. Well, like farm equipment in the fields and that. Well, not in the fields, like on the edges of the fields and that, so... But yeah. May not be the biggest maps and that, in terms of huge fields and that. Another cow pasture there. 
And yeah, that is harvest days. I do like the textures and that. That is really nice. And one thing I want to do is turn on crop destruction. And yeah, turn it on. Drive into the fields because I want to see uh, the stubble texture. So hop into our Zator. And then, yeah, head into our fields. Little fence there. Sure, these can be removed. Nope. Oh no, there's still entrance there to the right. But yeah, also, uh, you got the sort of in the way of the dynamic terrain in that. It's not all smooth seen in that. Got a fair few bumps to it. There we go. Just drive around a little bit. And yeah, actually, that stubble is different. I do like that, so a little quick look on, on stubble. We've looked around the main farm and that. So now, let's go and grab the Mahindra and tour the rest of this beautiful map. Before we do anything else, I almost forgot, you have got my notes here. The rest of your equipment is down here, so you're up here on new farm mode. And we are on this farm down here. And this is the one that you get those extra pastures with. So obviously I already go and purchase the fields. And you can see the icons popping up. But this is a little bit of a banger of the farm. And yeah, also talking about slot counts and that. Yes, it's pretty high in that. But because of the required mods and that. By the same map, ma the map, map maker and modder being the same person and that. And someone else. These could have been integrated. But since this is a pack and that, you can... Just go around and delete everything and yeah, I think you can get sort of count down to in the realms of like 1,300. But anyways, we're looking at this farm. So yeah, got a house over here. Can't go in, but that's going to be your seed trigger. Then if we head over here, got one of your animal pens. And this will hold 30 cows. Trigger the dialer box. Like so. Sir so comes out of there. Nice little doorways are coming in and out. Deers, the little glitching through. And yeah, just the immersion of this map it is absolute beautiful. And down here we've got, I think, like a double workshop base. So, light switch there to the right. None. So, yeah, you've got a workshop trigger down here. And I think there is one up here as well. So, Open you, pop down, and yep. So yeah, you got like two rookshot triggers and that. And the good thing is, with all this, obviously it's part of a mod pack and that, but you can actually open stuff and that. So the Behindra was over there under the sheds. You got your drill over here, got your fence front loader and that. And yeah, it is absolute beautiful. It's done. Correctly, that's the thing I love in that it's the maps been done correctly. Again, I'll say about maps and that hasn't been plugged down that. And yeah, this is also your other cow bar, and I think this is the one there's actually a hundred cows, so go over here, dollar box, so yeah. Now this one's got the hundred cow on that. Got your Surrey pit over here, and I just love that. It's like rather than a concrete thing, it's actually just a hole in the ground. In your pits and that. Bunker side clamps. Ah, yeah. Another. Uh, Digest deals. Surrey output. Yep, yeah, head over here. Got some open sheds and that. And I think this is another bunker side clamp. Yes, it is. Ah, yeah, just these little things like a little bit of rubble and that. And I'm pretty sure you can't get rid of the rubble. Well, no, you can, so you want to get rid of rubble. That's the thing. The map, as it is, is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm just going to head down here to our other animal pasture. So, gone past the poop pit. And here you've got your pens and that. Got a nice little like, tape rope. Very realistic. So, yeah, got your milk down here. 
feeding trough and that. This is going to be your open pasture and that. And I think the uh, dialogue box is over... Is it in the corner? Oh, I forgot, so... Yeah, feed troughs and that. Beautiful river and that. And yeah, all you want to remove this, you can. Water and that. Ah, dialogue box is up there, so... Let's head up there. So you got your cow pasture and that, and that is 120 cows, so again with all the cow barns and that, you can just go bit of a way bit of a little mix and that. You can just say, oh, have cows in the field during summer and that. And in the winter, ship them off to the barns and that. And got your horses here, 16 horses. And again, rubble. Oh no, and that's all of us part of the horse pasture and that. But yeah, that's one thing we'll go over in a sec. Also head over here. We'll head round to our BG and Ansec. Again, more pastures and that. So there we go, another 80. I think, yeah, also you got like stuff like this. Pastures with cattle and that already in it. But unfortunately, these are part of the unpurchasable areas. And again, little things like that brings that immersion in. And that's one thing I do love. But yeah, so that is the pastures and that. That's like your main farm sorted. So yeah, now let's go into build mode. And yeah, there ain't many things that the map maker has included. Because yeah, a lot of this is with all the other mods and that. And I do have like precision farming and all that enabled, of course. But yeah, so you got your double decker garage over here. And if you want to like place it down somewhere like here, for example, 22 grand. Now, once you know, it's not the d it looks like a double decker one, but it's separate, so my bad there. Under silos, got your bunker silos and that, which is. Very similar to this one over here, just this apparently he says six same lengths and that, but that is longer than that, so I'm not sure. And I think there's somewhere under No that not tools is it? Your production and that, so you got your BGA. We'll look at that in a sec. No other custom stuff in that. Animal pens, so you got your cow barns, part of the mods in that. While you got your modded horse pasture that we looked at. And that is it. Millions of decorations, nothing is here in that. But yeah, landscaping, so we start having a little look here. So, got your asphalt. Different kind of asphalt, and yeah, it's got so much to offer. Different concrete in that. Got gravel. More gravel, just place these down just to show these off. And again, I love when mappers put these kind of details in, these little little things here and there and that, just to bring that immersion in again. That's what it's about with FS22, it's case of you pick a map, you play a map, and you get yourself immersed in it. You sort of get lost in the way. Time just flies by, and next you know, you spend all night... Oh, fuck. <laughs> spend all night playing farm sim and that. Which is not a bad thing, again, just yet. I'm not going to go over everything, but again. Got like concrete brick and that thing that is. Yeah, got like your brick textures and that. And so much more to offer. And trees, you also got your different kind of trees and that. And you can place them down if you want. Equal tree and that as well, so not too bad. And under plant, so yeah, you got an option to create your own field, like so, with the textures and that. On top of that, you got your Chantelli or Chantardi mushrooms. Just place the nose down. Also got your Bonitas Mushrooms. So there we go, now we can see the mushrooms. 
Just takes a sec for them to pop in. There we go. Again, still things here like well, what are the mushrooms and that. Imagine that. All the mushrooms on the fields and that. But yeah, so that is the uh, build mode section covered. We're going to hop into the Behindra. So yeah, we're starting off down here. And what we'll do is... So yeah, we're going to head out of here. And yeah, so... Yeah, we've got a hook right in that. And yeah, I think we'll start off with the dairy in that. Go sell points in that down here. And then yeah, we'll go up to BGA. Loop around and come back down that way. So... Get the correct map in that. So... Yep, yeah, here we go. We're at the dairy. And the thing to know is... When we go to the map, it says, oh, dairy is right here. Well, looks like a production that. However, what you need to do is head just to the left of it. A little shack on the side. I buy the production. That's empty ground. And yeah, very typical recipes. The carpentry comes with the land. We'll go over that when we get to that. But yeah, so you've got your, uh, what's it, a forklift and that to use that for your pallets. And yeah, got your cell points for your straw and that. So you've got your bell cell points and that. Silage, root crops and liquid manure. But yeah, yeah it said on the mod description, that map description, that there's area workers in the field. Haven't seen any yet. But yeah, looking forward to seeing those, so... Yeah, got your straw bell cell point over here. As we head over here, that's going to be loop across here. This is going to be your root crops cell station. So open you up. And then you got the liquid manure. And again, as well, it just looks like the farm is being used. That the map's being used in that. You know, bunker size and that being covered up, some starting to unnose and that. That's the thing I would love to see in FS25 is like dynamic stuff in that. Just have a dynamic. Little things like that, just dynamic functionality in that. But who knows in that, so. And you, head out of here. So yeah, we just come past the bus stop we started off with. And yeah, we'll head up here. BG and that is not too expensive. Oop, Careful. But yeah. Ooh, that was close. Anyways, we'll hook a left here. And yeah, your BG is over here. And once again, I've ever shot, missed my turn in. But besides from that, again, it looks like it's been used now. It's not all speak and span brand new. It hasn't been just put down as a asset that. Some actual thought and detail has gone into this, so that I absolutely love. I think the trigger now. Oh, nope, somehow I forgot to purchase this land, so yeah, purchase land, 508 grand. Not too bad in that, all things considering. But yeah, now your triggers are popping up. Simple recipes and that, standard. Oh, yeah, I am 99% sure of that. Get digest digestate. Not electricity or methane or methane. Depending on how you pronounce it. There's no wrong way about it. Unless we're talking about aluminium, then yes, there is a certain wrong way to talk about it. But yeah, just to the left, got your big fields and that. No, we don't go left there into the fields. And yeah, if you want to that, if things like this all small fields it ain't your thing, then yeah, by all means, create your own fields and that. That's what you can love about, for example, with this section here to our right. You can merge all of these fields together from 1 to 9, then 47 to 51. And maybe even some bits on the other side of that, which we haven't looked at yet. Still need to get used to the map, map buttons and that. But yeah, plenty of contracts are available before I purchase all the fields, so... 
again, it's one of those things where I don't need very large equipment. I think really, don't, things like combines and that, maybe no more than like a 9 meter header and that. But, anywho, we're going to hook left here, head down here, and this is going to be one of them up here, Nat. And yeah, you got, you're on the crossroad, so we have a little look on the crossroads. So yeah, that was all things like your eggs and that, so I'm guessing this could be like your production cell points and that, yeah, see. But again, nice little details. And yeah, unfortunately you can't sell these and that because Unfortunately, your cell points and that, again, like with the dairy gnat, not the dairy of, that was it, this area over here gnat, yeah, yeah, it was the dairy gnat, it's all under the hand of that, you can't purchase and sell, apart from BGA, these you can not purchase, so, again, one thing to bear in mind, but still, like the whole 1.3 gigabytes of downloads and that, who, like DJ, he had issues with it, like a 10 minute video took over an hour or so to download and that, the map and that. And even for me, like, once I realised, oh shit, the map dropped and I was like, two hours late I was. Because so I'm doing some testing on Deadwood at the moment. But anyway, so, we'll forget about that. This is going to be like your local cooperative. Excuse me sir, do you mind? Okay. To be fair, now nah, I didn't really indicate that. But yeah, so we have a look. Let's try and sell point. Scratch Pro SA. And your lime station. So yeah, like your local cooperative sell points and that. Lime is just up here. I'm not sure if this would take lime, but all you have to do is just drive up. Like so. Don't have access to that, of course. And then drive out. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll go back down and then we'll head left where we went past the other cell point across field one. The meadows that you can purchase. And again, one of those maps where, yeah, may not be tons of forestry, but got little sections dotted all over the place and that you can just do you pretty much and that just do you and that in terms with what you want to do for big fields yeah yeah convert this into a mega field and that Ooh, what's up here and that for us all something yep a little building and that and if oh collectible Oh, well, that's interesting. Ten new collectibles. You've got a mole heel. Ooh. But yeah, if we go into our PDA net. No, 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 yeah, this is one area you can purchase. Obviously, nothing's popped up in that. Triggers in that. I'm pretty sure. Do you see work? I don't know. I thought they would have worked in that. But, hmm. Guess all. I guess it just comes with, like, the forestry net, so. Fair enough, it is what it is. But yeah, so we just come along here. And yeah, I think what we're going to head do is going to head up north now. Because yeah, it got some more of those like open pastures and that. For example, you got your cows here to your right. And yeah, horses to your left. And again, I just love that. A farmer in the field and that. Obviously, what I may do is I may hang around after I've done the map tour and that. Look around and that and just keep an eye out for workers and that in the field because if you can see if we can see something like AI workers like we hire or you would hire in the field, but not paid by us, not controlled by us and that, just controlled by the map maker and that, the code in that. Yeah, that would be nice to have, but 
So far, no luck. Now, I know a lot of this is a Meadowland. But still, again, just one of these things I thought, oh, it'd be nice to see that. So, yeah, I'm going to head down here and out. Thought about cutting across, but, yeah, let's head back into town. If you do drown in this little stream and that. Oh, fence. Mind the fence. Oh, uh, yeah, that's nothing you've got to be careful of is these fences. Pretty sure there is a way back around. Nope. Can you sell these? Dang it. Oh, that'll be a good thing to have. It's like the custom fences and that. No, have these as part of the map and that. Uh, to that's it, Snow Veil. And yeah, just bear me a sec whilst I get back on the roads. Because I'm a little bit stuck in the map tour and that. But again, just a nice little quick village and that. People walking about. And I think I've heard like, a couple of them like speaking that. So again, having AIs or people and that. Talking that, engaging. That's what I mean about having the next the next Farmstone game. It's got to be more dynamic. That's got to be... Yeah, again, I don't want to try to put pressure on Giants and that, but... Next game's got to be an absolute banger in that, especially with everything that's been going on at the moment, with the quality of the mods and that. And yeah, just with everything in general now, I'm going to try to scoot across. And got another cow pasture in that. 80. So yeah, got your cow pasture up here. So yeah, I think we'll head back down. Head up, and then we'll head down to your other farm and that. Surely you need to grab a little quick drink there, but yeah, so coming up the road, up there is your your cell point. But yeah, we'll get to that because there's another cell point to just south just south of us and that, so but yeah, this is your other farm that. And again, I like the sliding in that, like how it's all been done in that, so... 40 cowl, your story output, and all that. And she has go around. And I think this is where we finds our trailer by the looks of it. There it is. And yeah, got your harvesters and that. I was like wondering where it all was, but yeah, it's all just dotted all over the place and that. And yep, yeah, once again, you can sell all this and that, get sort of count down to like 1,300 or something like that. Seat trigger just here and that. And yeah, just showing all the farm and that, got your other zeta over here. Got another large cow barn, 72 cattle. Boom, 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 open the gates, drive through a ball. Then got your bunker silos. And your manure heap, I think that's all around the corner, I think. Yeah, just over there. Another out the, over there. Open the doors like so. I don't know, any hue in that. Should have gone the other way. But yeah, again, a nice little quick little farm. Yeah, let's go over like the farm prices again. That so, four hundred forty-three grand, two oh six, and that one no, it's this one here, four four three. So yeah, heights like that for a farm that for a pre-built farm that four hundred grand. Nothing to really snuff at that. So just wasn't gone the wrong way, but. Anywho, we head up to the cell point in that for our manure. But yeah, to be honest, first of all, I thought download this map and now I thought, oh, freak's sake, another required mod maps. Then I did the math of it being 1.3 gigabytes. And then obviously all the required mods is by the map maker himself and that, or one of the map makers and that. But yeah, anywho. Your cell point is over here. Yeah, again, don't know why it wasn't incorporated into the map. I'm guessing there was like in terms of the performance in that because once it took forever to download, maybe like 90 seconds, 
two minutes tops and that to download. Not to download, to load in and that, so maybe that's why there's like a one gigabyte of limit in that, but again, honestly, I don't know that. First I'll come across a bit in that, it's like 930 in that at the moment, so maybe there is a limit in that. Again, I'm on that gen myself in that, so the last thing you want is people start moaning and crying and with all due respect on Facebook and that, bitching and that constantly and that and then get the map removed from that. Again, yeah, bit of long loading that, but I've like saw a couple of mods and that for a small nap on test on a little test session of just figuring out everything. And yeah, the map seems to be handling well, getting no like frame rate issues and that. But yeah, so we just come from farm, head up to your cell point. Now we're just down here. There are the grain mill and your fit plan point. Uh, sell point. So purchase the green mill here. Like six grand. And yeah, again, not too bad. Pretty sure the recipes are the same in that. Yeah, it's hard to keep tracking that sometimes with all the mods and that, mods and maps and all the hoo But anyway, so we can head out of here now. Again, just more like just dumped equipment, that part equipment than that. That I got freed of. Helps if you open said gate. Well, two things. One, open the gate. And two, make sure you actually go through the correct gate. I just followed that white path. I was like, whoop. But like here, yeah, here to the left, and that farmer, ready to go, Nat. Or ready to deliver something now from the harvest. Dynamic. Hey, are you workers now in the fields? And this looks like a translation thing since this is a Polish map now, so. Again, I don't know that. But yeah, you got bells in the field and that. They are rock solid. In terms of being invisible, but. Okay, yeah, that's the map boundary. Again, that's what I love about maps is like, when you like, look for the boundary now, especially someone like me and that, mod reviewer and that, map tour and reviewer and that. The thing I look into is like, again, breaking that immersion now. If you saw a. There's a there or have a map boundary then that's what puts you off so again self building here is over here and then we head to our new tree cell point so if I little pass now again nothing special down there and you know what screw it <laughs> let's cut across now but yeah it's gonna be another cell point and again Another crash. And there's a dog barking at me for crashing into the gate. I'm not sure if that's coming through now. But yeah, it's just a shoe dog. So yeah, new trader cell points. And yeah, I think now what we'll do is we'll head up. And then, yeah, head down. And then we'll finish up near the shop up towards the top. Back on the path, and yeah, once again, we're going to pull off the road, and we're going to head to another cell point. I think it is the Derek cell point, or something on those lines. But yeah, you. Again, I just like the look of these cell points. These are absolutely good, and yeah, oh, it is cell point, but just imagine, just like do a bit of role playing that, or again, just get a bit creative of you know, saying all send stuff to a neighbour farmer. So. We go to the peep map and that. Oh, Derek, not Derek. I have to go down here, Derek, and guarantee that's the bells. Probably show a little hiccup. So, yeah, another bell cell point. So, you know, a local farmer wants bells and that. So, yeah, we sell them here. I can see they're using them now. And yeah, I got some of my back snacks. I saw some field snacks. I really want to see. Oh, some animation now, like some animated field work and that, but so far to no prevail. So yeah, we'll go out of here, and then yeah, we'll head south, look down there, and then we'll head up north. But yeah, again, I'm going to say it over and over again, just to get the point across. This is a cracking map, sis. it's very immersive. Now again, it's one of those things, 
if you're not into productions or the whole production simulator or logistics simulator argument, this is a good map for you. Yes, for the far side is this big and having. Generally, I do think it's the biggest map file we've had on Farm Sim. Here, down here. Yep, down here. <laughs> Checking the map in that. But again, like, to acquire mods and that, it's by the same map maker, same person. So, in a way, I get that. It's not as bad it was like someone else's mods and that using that, but as you've seen the build mode, there are custom placeable buildings, so if they could push a garage down, then why can't they, you know, put their own mods in the map they're making or collaborating with? I, I don't know. No, I, honestly, generally, I don't know that. It's, yeah, it's not me being critical now, it's just me being observing. Put my opinion across. But, anywho, we're at the sawmill now. Again, love the detail of it, so go and purchase said sawmill. Also, there is a telehander over here, so use that, the Manito. It's got pallet forks now. Again, if you want to use pallet forks, you can always use other mods now, like CSZ pack or the big bag hand support, so that was 100 grand. Oh yeah, wood planks, a little bit of wood chips, basic production rates. And again, I'm just saying, yeah, same basic production rate. In a way, not being offensive or mockery or anything, it's just more of just stated it. Because again, with all the mods that we've been having, mod maps, mod productions, unless you put a good recipe ratio. Anywho. This is your stone cell point, I think this is, if I remember correctly. Yeah, my notes aren't good today. Yep, yeah, stone cell point. Not too bad. Again, yeah, a little mini quarry in that. And again, it doesn't have to be all like massive feet or miles into the ground and that, like some of the other maps and that, but again, a little mini quarry in that. Something like on, oh, what was it? Oh, what's called Chip Norton on here, Clarkson's farm, did his squat farm in that. That's got a little, little mini quarry in that. And I know FS Landscaping, they're doing a new map at the moment. I think it's based in Ireland, I think it is, and that's got a massive quarry. I'm looking forward to that when that comes out, but... Anywho, minor are just little deviations there, but... So yeah, anyways, we'll head up north now, so yeah. Look there from south. Yeah, let's head to the shop, and then yeah, we'll be done the map tour. Head to the town of Sparkabel. Sparkabel. Oh. It's one of the things is when I sort of do the intro and that I sort of try to pronounce everything properly in that, but then just yeah, pronounce it properly in the intro and that, and then when it comes to doing the map tour itself, I end up screwing it up. But anywho. We've got your productions over here, so this one over here is your, I think it's your, so, en entry points there. Ah, yeah, your tailor source, so, fabric and that. Uh, if we look on the map, so, we are here. So, yeah, tailor shop and that. And, yeah, if we go up here and that. Well, we got your clothing factory, I think it is. So you head across. Again, little things like that can be done with pallets and that, skids here and that. Oh, yeah, your spinner and that, eight, 60 grand. Normal recipes and that. And again, I just like the way how it's done. It's not a, you know, a mod. I'm not saying a mod up asset or a base game asset. It's something that's been used and transformed. Got another cell point over here, so if we go to the map once more. See, so yeah, we got the at seniors. Just been to the spinnery. And then, yeah, for the last part, let's walk this. So, yeah, just taking the views and that. Also, you got a house here and that, seat trigger, so. But, yeah, again, as I mentioned, you can remove the houses if you wish, and again, Get sort of down that. 
But even with... What was it? 500 slots we got at the moment? Yeah, 500 slots in that. Well, minus... Whatever I've added in that. Be spawn point and reset point, as I learnt when resetting the Mahindra. And into the shop. Ooh, I just like how it sort of teleports you out. Ooh, well, I like the talking now. Hello, sir. Let's try it again. So, walk in. No idea what that is. I know it's position at. Oh, I wish I paid attention to some more of my biker pros and that. Another club that used to be Polish, but. Again, I just like the way it's all done in that. Got your diesel buy point over here. This, I'm assuming, is another cell point. Yeah, your Heimrich Spazul, or Z O O, however you want to pronounce that. Can I do apologize for butchering stuff? Got your weigh station in that. And again, it's all done so well. And I think that is pretty much the map done. So, I don't know, you got your point by your construction that. So, actually, you know what? We head into the Mahindra and that. So, now it's a bit further down than I thought now. But yeah, again, sort of as we're sort of wrapping up here, highly recommend the map actually. Oops, ooh. I'm soft curb there. Okay, and that's more of the Mahindra thing. This is, this is very prone to go a bit topsided, so. Again, sorry, old trader, sorry. No, no, oh no, further up, envoy, come on. Construction, that's it. So, construction, that's going to take things like your stones and that, so. We go to here. So, wood chips, new. No. Woods and that, nope. Have a little look. But yeah, guarantees things like your stones and that. Or yeah, as well, sort of at least, yeah, your planks and furniture and that. No sell points for your fertilizers, but again, there's some mods and that. Sell everything container by, or sorry, if you mod by Schultz Modding. Highly recommended for that. Same for digesting that. Team with lime, herbicide, and that. I assume it is accepted here. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Also, all your premium. I'm oh, sorry, your platinum expansion stuff. Not your premium. And then, yeah, head up here. Now, I'm gonna head to the Boy Manure. Oh, what's <laughs> today with the crash counter and that? Oh, God. It's been a long day now, I haven't set for a couple of days in that. But yeah, so, ooh, a little cabin in that. Do like the look of that. But yeah, got your buy me your point over here in that. Again, from the cows in that, makes sense. No, can't open those. Mind the car. Now, nah, see if we can interact with other people in that, but yeah, we'll just walk up here and head to our final point. I think it was a point of sale now. So head up here, yeah, old tatter and that. Tater, tatter. And yeah, there you go. So yeah, again, final thoughts and just general summary in that. Awesome app in that. Love the immersion, love the level of details, and even with the required mods and that, because it's by the same map, map maker and that's the modern act. I think I'll give this a four and a half out of five. And I think Mahindra agrees with that by doing a little four and over. But yeah, again, it's just one of those maps where it is very simplistic in that, but it's all done right. Yeah, also more storage over. I can't remember if I shoot that off. But yeah, it's done right. It's done properly now. Little details in that. Again, haven't seen the farm animation or whatever it is, so... 
I may try to come here and start from scratch. After I've done this, it's going to be a late upload now, so I'll spend a few minutes on that, you know, sort of a new saving that, and yeah, see if there's any dynamics or AI workers in that in the fields and that, but apart from that, that is the end of the map tour, so awesome map as always. But yeah, so this is Sparsco. Spakawa, whatever. Well, again, I do apologise, but hi, Rajot G Play and Jankus. If you find this map tour helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form, feel free to smash that button. Feel free to number though. Okay. But for now, it's before an envoy stream, and I'll see you all very soon.